Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. So today we're going to be looking at the Paladin combat skill known as Fist of the Heavens. Fist of the Heavens is a ability that until recently was mainly only used in PvP, um, and it had to do with the fact that it has a had a really long casting delay. So for those of you who may be interested, it has been changed and it no longer has a ridiculously ridiculous casting delay. Um, it is only 0.4 seconds now, which is way better than it was before, and um, it also got some pretty nice buffs in the form of Holy Bolt increases. So uh, if you watched my previous video, you already know this, but if you haven't, let me go over it again really quickly. So Holy Bolt got two changes. Uh, the first is that Holy Bolt now pierces targets, which means it no longer dissipates upon hitting an enemy. The second is that now the Holy Bolts will dish damage out to both demons and undead, uh, which is a really big change, which opens up a lot of room for the Fist of the Heavens Paladin to dish out some pretty serious hurt. Um, so on top of the relatively nice 3,400 to 3,500 lightning damage, uh, we also have a very nice 2,760 to 2,800 Holy Bolt damage. Now, the Holy Bolts actually come out depending on how many monsters are nearby. And this is interesting because you have to realize that uh, the damage that the Holy Bolts are doing is pretty massive, especially if it's in a large group. Uh, but it does not do any damage, of course, to these maggots, for instance, that are uh, not undead and they are not demons. Um, now, the downside of the Holy Bolts is that they do not hit a target um, that is the one that you cast the ability on. Um, so the Holy Bolts will come out and dish out a pretty massive amount of damage, but they're not going to hit that particular target. Um, you do still get, of course, the lightning damage to that particular target, which is, of course, helpful, but not the actual Holy Bolt damage to that target. Um, and it's actually pretty sweet because the lightning damage can be utilized to help kill those non-demon monsters, while the demon monsters and the undeads can, of course, get murderized by the Holy Bolts that are summoning off the ability. Um, now, it's also important to note that the Holy Bolts are not summoned unless it is specifically against a monster that is a demon or undead. So it has to be a demon or an undead monster to get the summoning effect. Let me go grab some mana potions real quick so we can spam this. It does have a rather high mana cost. Now, one of the skills that you would most likely want to use in combination with Fist of the Heavens is going to be the Aura um, Conviction, which is going to bring down the, re the lightning resistance of all the monsters nearby. Um, if you utilize a very nice Conviction Aura along with your Fist of the Heavens, it will beef up the damage of the lightning, but not the Holy Bolt, uh, by a pretty considerable amount. Um, and this is important, of course, because if you're going to use this as your main ability, um, it's going to have a huge effect on what you can do. It's also going to help break those lightning immunes that you do come across. And this will be important because, of course, not all lightning immunes are going to be undead or demons, which means you're going to have to eventually kill some immune to lightning monsters that you cannot kill with Holy Bolt. Um, but as you traverse, you'll notice that there's kind of a thing that you've got to pay attention to. So in small groups, it might be better to use Holy Bolt directly. Whereas in large groups, it's better to use Fist of the Heavens. Uh, and this is because Fist of the Heavens works extremely well versus multi-targets. Whereas Holy Bolt works extremely well versus lines and uh, individual monsters. Um, the amount of damage that Holy Bolt does is extremely nice in the lines. As you can see, this was a nice line where I could shoot off a huge amount of damage. Um, and uh, versus giant groups, you notice how the Holy Bolt does extremely well because it gets to fire off one bolt per monster. Every single monster taking a rather large amount of damage, especially if they're all clustered together. Uh, like, let's cluster these guys together as much as possible, and then we'll fire off a Holy Bolt in the center of them, and you can really see how much damage the 
surface of the heavens can just kind of pump out relatively quickly. And of course, you can get this even higher than I have it. I don't have it maxed out. Um, you could obviously get a couple more plus to skills in here. I'm only at level 33. I think level 40 was, it would be easily doable. And you could probably bring this up to probably at least around level 45, maybe even level 46 if you really tried. And, uh, and get sneak out as much damage as possible out of this ability as you can. Um, it does have a relatively high amount of... Um, of point investment though, and this is one of the things that's always kind of turned me off with the ability, is that if you're trying to build Fist of the Heavens, um, you've got 20 point investment from Holy Bolt to get the Holy Bolt spam, uh, so that's 20. We also have 1, 2, 3, 4 just to get to the ability, or sorry, 5 just to get to the ability, so that's uh, 25, and then we've got another 20 here, which is uh, 45. And then we have another 20 in the form of Holy Shock to get, to bring up the lightning damage, which is 50, 65. Um, and then you also have to get to Conviction, uh, to beef up Conviction. So that's 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, and then uh, 80, 90. So you've already burned 90 skill points to build this particular build. And this is before you even put a point into Holy Shield, so that's 91, 92, 93. Because um, you're probably going to want Holy Shield to help keep you alive. And, uh, and anything else that you might want to put points into to beef it up even further. Like maybe you want to put points into Prayer so that you can beef up the healing effect on Holy Bolt and keep your Mercenary alive. Um, there are a lot of different considerations, and I do feel like Fist of the Heavens still has a pretty heavy skill point investment. Um, there are, of course, other ways that you could utilize Fist of Heavens. You don't necessarily have to utilize the lightning damage portion of this ability, and I feel like it's important to point this out, is that you could theoretically only go for the Holy Bolt damage. Um, and to go for the Holy Bolt damage, you would need to build, obviously, Fist of the Heavens, and then you would need to build Holy Bolt, which is only a 40-point investment versus a 60-point investment if you have to build Holy Shock. Um, and, of course, you also would not be building the Conviction ability because you wouldn't be worried about the lightning damage and you're not specifically trying to beef that up. Instead, you would put points into something else. Um, really not a lot more to talk about with this ability. Um, it is very interesting. You can get procs of it on particular items. There's quite a few items in the game that have Fist of the Heavens procs on them. And um, I've, uh, I actually went over a list of these recently and uh, it's it's not like a super huge amount. Um, there is Thunder God's Vigor. Um, there is the uh, Hand of the Blessed Light Scepter. Um, there is also uh, Cloud Crack and, um, and a Big Giant Axe, which I think I actually have on me, Bone Slayer Blade, which is a 50% chance to cast level 20. Whole, that's, that's actually, that's Holy Bolt, I bet. Um, not a lot of good Fist of the Heavens procs. I do believe Gold Strike Arch has a proc on it. Uh, but for the most part, there's just not a lot of really good ones that you can work into a build. Um, however, if I was running, like, max Fist of the Heavens, um, having a Thunder God's Vigor on with a level 7, 5% chance to cast level 7 wouldn't actually be that bad. It would be kind of interesting, like, if you got into a dangerous situation, a monster comes up and hits you, and, uh, you know, maybe a couple times, and you have a Fist of the Heavens proc in that group, it could very well save your life. could be interesting. Um... I'm not really 100% sure on that, but it could be fun. Um, obviously, you can beef this up with uh, combat skillers. Um, you could also utilize any plus to skill equipment that you can get your hands on. You know, like, for instance, even the principal, which has plus two, which is relatively cheap at only a gull versus uh, some of the other plus two armors, which are much more expensive, like uh, a burr rune for our chains of honor. And... Um, Get yourself a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra skill points with this. Uh, one thing that I have noticed about Fist of the Heavens is it's extremely effective at clearing Chaos Sanctuary. Um, you can clear Sanctuary Chaos Sanctuary with the Holy Bolt spam relatively quickly. It's not the lightning damage that's doing the the clearing. It's the Holy Bolt that is doing the clearing. Um, the Fist of the Heavens lightning damage is relatively inconsequential. Um, when you consider how much damage the Holy Bolt does over the, the course of the entire group of monsters. Um, in fact, if I were to go and try and kill Diablo with Fist of the Heavens, you would really notice the difference between Holy Bolt and, uh, and Fist of the Heavens in terms of killing a single target. Um, and then, you know, let's go do that real quick. Let's, uh, just as a, as a demonstration, let me go 
spam some fists of the heavens and make my way to Demoblo. If I can ever have enough mana with all these little monsters knitting sweaters. Stop knitting sweaters at me! You sweater knitting sweater knitters! Yes, give me them potions of mana so I can unknit the sweaters that you knitted me. Those are the ghosts of grandmas from a long time ago. Let me knit you a sweater, dear! If I had a sweater my grandma knitted me, I'd still be wearing it. My grandma didn't knit. I didn't have a knitting grandma. She definitely did not do knitting. So punk. I feel like a practical example of Fist of the Heavens is required here, especially considering how much it's changed in the in the past. Um, these particular abilities, um, like for instance, Fist of the Heavens and Holy Bolt, have seen some dramatic changes. And uh, for those of you who may have been playing the game for 20 years, um, and you've maybe even played around with this ability before, you might have never seen it in this particular light before. Um, it really is quite impressive um, of an ability for many reasons. Um, I mean, I, I remember it back when it was a very slow ability that could barely kill one monster very effectively. And, um, and now it is, it is much stronger. Uh, but as you can see, as a single target ability, it doesn't really work as well, especially when targeting a boss. Uh, but if I were to switch over to Holy Bolt, which is, of course, the synergy... You'll notice that I can dish out some pretty serious hurt to Diablo with this single target ability and take him out pretty quickly. Um, Holy Bolt and Fist of the Heavens, of course, go in tandem. And if you build a Holy Bolt Paladin, you're probably going to utilize a, a you know, a Fist of the Heavens Paladin. You're probably going to utilize Holy Bolt as well. Um, and, of course, Faster Cast is going to help you with both of these abilities. So uh, a lot of people are, are unsure of whether delayed abilities are actually assisted by faster cast and let me put that myth to the rest yes they are however the delay stays so basically how faster cast works is it reduces your animation casting time and the animation casting time is added to the delay so it's not just 0.4 seconds it's 0.4 seconds plus your normal casting delay so having any form of equipment to decrease your casting delay will in fact help the speed of Fist of the Heavens and make it cast faster. So think about it like this. It's 0.4 seconds plus whatever your normal casting is. And if you can bring your normal casting down, then it's 0.4 plus less. And, uh, and, and you can break that out to frames if you want to. Um, if we wanted to break it down to frames, uh, 0.4 seconds would be divided by... I'm trying to remember here. So it's 25 frames per second and uh, it's 0.4 seconds, or sorry, yeah, it's at 0.4 seconds, so it's 0.4 of 25. So 0.4 of 25 is essentially 10 frames, so you are essentially getting 10 frames added to your regular cast time. So if we do a really quick look and we see what faster cast rate is for Paladin, um, we can find out what his faster cast rate is and how many frames it takes him to cast an ability. Um, so the Paladin at zero frames, uh, zero faster cast, is 15 frames, which means that he has 15 plus 10. So 15 plus 10 is 25, which means to cast Fist of the Heavens right now, it is one full second um, or, or 25 frames. However, if you have some faster cast added to this, um, you could very easily bring this down to, say, for instance, 75% faster cast. should be fairly easy to get your hands on. Um, that would bring you down to 10 frames, and you would be looking at 10 plus 10, which is 20 frames, which is less than a second. So you could, you could buy yourself, at the very least, 5 frames, which would be pretty nice. Um, I probably wouldn't get 125% faster cast, because that's only one more frame. But 75% faster cast seems easily doable on a character that's based around casting. Also, you have to keep in, a, to keep in mind that faster cast is going to help out your Holy Bolt. 
So getting 100%, 125% faster cast on your Paladin might actually be a good idea, especially if you're considering uh, the Holy Bolt spam side of things. Uh, because you can very easily tell um, if I'm utilizing 0% faster cast, this is my Holy Bolt with 0. And even just adding 30% faster cast right now, uh, which is going to bump me up very quickly to 11 frames, you can tell a much better cast rate just in general. And so having a very fast Holy Bolt could certainly be very useful to a Fist of the Heavens Paladin. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when I am summoning down the Fist of the Gods. And uh, keep watching.